What is going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Ethan Shapiro, vlog number six. Right off the bat, I just want to explain some format changes going on on this channel. So basically, I've kind of been enjoying the vlog format. I think it's a great way to track my progress and show people what I've been doing over the over the last year or, or the last few weeks or basically. So the way this is going to go is I'm going to do a vlog every single Saturday and just kind of run through my week and what's been going on. So I just I was very uh, lucky to have Bailey Canning come and visit with me. He's the founder of In Inbound Web Development. He's been on my podcast. He's a really good friend of mine. He gave me a couple uh, pointers, including filming the vlogs uh, so you guys can see my desk working space. You got you can see my goals there, my photos, my, my screen, and all that stuff. So basically, I'm going to be releasing a vlog every single week from now on on Saturdays, just kind of outlining how my week is going, what, how I'm on progress for my business, and that kind of stuff. I think that'll be pretty cool. I've been releasing them every like month and a half, but I think it'll be better and more fun because, man, I'll tell you, crazy stuff happens in this job. I'm trying to meet 100 people a week. I'm talking to at least two or 300, not, not two or 300, I'm talking to at least 200 people people a week or so um something like that or at least knocking on their door and trying but um so yeah this vlog is going to be every single week and i'm going to try and come up with there's a lot of funny stories that are happening i don't have too many for this week i'm just going to try and fill it in with information but yeah um so on news for the podcast change in the climate i have a guest coming on this coming week her name is rebecca dixon she is the chair of the sierra club foundation indian peaks which is the boulder um branch it's one of the oldest environmental organizations in the country. I'm very excited to have her on. But instead of doing the live format, because I'm finding people aren't really watching the live format, instead of making it stressful like that, I'm just going to start recording as many episodes as I can on my guest's schedule and then releasing them on... Yeah, I mean, probably Saturdays, because uh, that's Saturday is going to be like my social media day. I'm just going to be able to... Um, I just have the time. Saturdays, as we'll talk about, is kind of the uh, the time where I can kind of put everything together and just kind of finish my week because then I take Sundays as my day off. But um, yeah, so in other news, uh, Trump's threatening to do an executive order because Congress is a mess and really hasn't been able to get another stimulus package through. He might be doing a payroll tax cut, which would mean that you'd get like 7.65 approximately percent of your income back. So that would be pretty cool. Just a just a quick like, you know, stimulus update because that's very relevant during this time. Um, beyond that, Guys, I'm, I'm full suit. I'm ready. I'm in my full career. I know what I'm doing. I know what I got to do. I'm making the work. I'm making good impressions from now on. I used to just wear, you know, nice shirt, nice tie. I'm, I'm full suit every day now. I'm no joke. I'm taking this really seriously. I'm doing the full thing because I've got, I've got goals to hit. So speaking of goals, um, I, as you recalled, I, um, I did a lot of goal seek. I did some projections and based on, um, the information from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, my prospecting efforts, the conversion rates I'm seeing, I've determined that if I meet 90 people a week and systematically communicate with them, at 8 and 8, and then 33, 33 touch, 36 touch, meaning, um, let, let's run through it again real quick. So there are eight, system, so I meet someone, there's eight systematic touches to solidify in their mind that I am the, their realtor or the best realtor or at least a realtor that they, they know, like, and trust. So it starts by, there's two door knocks. So it starts by me knocking on their door, then writing them a personal note, and then I send them three pieces. So the personal note is mailed the next week, a week after I meet them. Then they get three pieces of mail, a fun packet, a, and a packet with information about how to invest in real estate, and then a market report. And then I follow up with my sixth touch because the first one is the door knock. The second one is the thank you note, which is handwritten and personalized. Then there's three more pieces of mail. So that's five. And then number six, I go and I follow up with them again and say, Hey, just want to make sure I've been able to provide you some value with those letters I've been getting. If I haven't off the list, you know, don't have to bother them anymore. Then they get another handwritten note. And then here's where it gets interesting. I've started the, the last touch of the eight and eight is a gift. So I've started giving people scented candles and I'll tell you the response has been interesting. I had a woman email me and literally say, Ethan, you're being too nice. Like back off. Like I'm more than happy to refer you to people, which is great. I mean, that's what I'm looking for, but she literally said back off. So there's a lot of for funny stories coming, coming forward. I mean, I've already had so many funny things happen. I've had amazing relationships built off of my first touch, off of my sixth touch, off of my fourth. I've had people calling and saying that they really enjoy what I'm doing. So it's, it's an interesting business. I'm, I'm sure people will be interested to, to keep up with me and see how things are going. Um, another thing I want to touch on is that I'm very, um, very, um, 
I really want to focus on communication skills. So I, I really, I worry about spreading myself too thin and trying to do too many things. I think the most important thing you can do as a real estate agent is learn how to communicate with people and communicate well. You want people to understand what you're saying, why you mean it, why you're serious, why you're the best option for them. So I just wanted to kind of just touch on that real briefly and say that I'm really working on my communication skills, my tonality, as I put it. I go up to people's doors. I'm like, before they open, I'm like, tonality, tonality. I, want, I don't want to be like, Hey, my name's Ethan Shapiro. I'm your local climate change realtor. Went, hey, good afternoon, sir. How you doing today? Like you, you, you really can convey emotions and connect with people much better if you know how to communicate. And the fact of the matter is this, hey, like blah, 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 this salesy thing, it's, it's not fake. It's as you can tell, it's really who I am. Like I am a very positive person. I am very excited about what I'm doing. So having this positive uh, communication is going to be very, very um, important moving forward. All right. So real quick, I, I haven't got the listing agreement yet, but I do have my first listing coming up. We're probably going to list right around 760, something like that. That's, that's in East Boulder. It's going to be real quick. Someone's going to come and snatch it up real quick. It's going to be a great deal for both the seller and the buyer. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's really exciting. Um, I already talked about the eight and eight and completions. Stay tuned for some funny stories moving forward. I mean, I've, I've got tons of them already. I got like one time I like left, a, I leave, so when I knock on the door, if they don't answer, I'll put a flyer in the door. So I went home for lunch after knocking on doors, like you know, maybe two months ago now. And I get a call on my phone and you know, when you get a call on your phone, you never know what it's going to be. But I got a call on my phone. It's like, Hey, is this uh, Ethan Shapiro? Did you you leave a flyer on my door? I'm like, yeah, this is me. I pr probably did. He's like, yeah, can you um never come back? Like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, what was your address? He's like, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, sure, man, I'll never come back. And he's like, thanks. And he hangs up. So I get stuff like that every single week. I get people saying, take me off your list. I get people saying, back off. So, like They like what I'm doing, but that's too, too much, like the candle or whatever. I'm trying to come up with a better gift to give people, but for now, the candle is what I got. Cool. So we're at seven minutes now. I'm going to try and keep these under 10 minutes uh, consistently. So the fact is, you can see right there, I don't know if you can see it in the screen, my goal is to, to have a biennial sales volume of $50 million. So right now, I'm at nada, but that's okay because I'm consistently prospecting every single week. I want to be held accountable. I need to be meeting 90, not just meeting, meeting and getting the names of people who I have some kind of rapport with of 90 people, putting them through that eight and eight. It's looking like about 60% of them will, will stay in the program and move on to the 33 touch, which is like every other week they'll get mail or every, every other week. But um, yeah, in order in order to get that um, to get to that 50 million goal, it's never been done by a first year uh, first year agent before. I don't think it's ever been done by a second year agent. So I'm trying to do something that's never been done before. You know, it's a really it's a blast. I really believe I can do it. The, I I got to this number 90 by using conversion rates and projections from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book from my six months or whatever you want to call it of door knocking and seeing how people respond to me, how likely it is they want to stay in contact with me. So I really believe I can do this, but I have to do the work. And trust me, it's a lot. So um, after this, I'm going to go out and I'm going to door knock until I hit 90. So that's how it is. I, I do Monday through Friday, two hours a day, 345 to 545. I meet as many people as I can. I got to 62 right now, which means that I need to get 30, oh, 28 more people into my database before the week is over. So that's what this Saturday is going to be. It's going to be reorganize social media. I'm going to do this vlog and then I'm going to get out and crush it until I hit 90. I will torture myself. I will keep knocking until I hit 90. And that is what my Saturdays are like. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Give me a call. You know, I'm always available. Um, yeah, so that's vlog number six, I believe. Um, look and look forward to more vlogs coming up every single week from now on. This is kind of how I want to run my channel. So I hope you all are having a fantastic week. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Let's save the world together.